What is going on guys? This is your boy Eastley Jackets here back in action with NBA 2K16 episode 2 and after posting 22 points and 6 rebounds and 4 steals in the first high school game, Eastley Jackets has been getting his phone line blown up by college recruits. Allen Iverson, one word unites these men. Georgetown. Hoyas. There's a, an attitude that comes with wearing a Georgetown jersey. Man, an attitude you already possess. You will be able to develop at a top tier, world-renowned institution in one of the greatest cities in our nation, if not the entire world. You will develop into a top prospect in the NBA under the guidance of a talented coaching staff. Legends deserve a legendary path, and that path goes through Georgetown. Everyone knows the respect that Villanova has in the basketball world, and our NBA roster boasts some of the most talented and passionate players in the NBA. Just look at the current play of former Wildcat Kyle Lowry. This could be you, freak. No, this will be you. We have been fans of yours since you dominated that big outdoor park tournament in back-to-back -back years. See, we love players with that streetball edge to them. It adds a dynamic that leads to success in college. Philadelphia is a great stage for you to continue your basketball career, and Villanova is the perfect institution for you to develop as a man. We look forward to your decision, Villanova Wildcats. If you were to ask me who we are at Louisville, I would respond that we are an essential basketball institution. We can boast three national championships, 10 Final Four appearances, 21 alumni who've received 25 All-American selections. Seven of the aforementioned have received eight consensus all-American selections. Players such as Wes Unseld, Daryl Griffith, and Francisco Garcia. Freak, you are the essential player this year and for years to come. Bring that to Louisville, and I promise to you, your dreams will be fulfilled and basketball greatness awaits. So as you guys saw there, Georgetown, Villanova, and Louisville all trying to get my talents, you know, to come to their respective universities. And, um, you know, now it's up to me to perform in these last couple games in high school and to show them that I am, you know, the future of their school. And hopefully, you know, they'll have, a, you know, a good transition for me to get to the National Basketball Association because that is my goal now as a high schooler. As you see, I'm a five-star prospect and already got offers kansas arizona georgetown and louisville so kicking off the second high school game we're going to be taking on the fairview tornadoes so we have a road game this time around and um right from the start of the game i'm going to be aggressive and you guys know that because that's how easy jackets is he's aggressive are you going to just find your seat this time hey see are you taping me? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm making phone calls, yo. I'm a networker. You know me. That's just what I do. Hey, yo, Freak. Hey, we're going to make it rain tonight, baby. Woo! Yeah, Freak, let's get that win. Look. Cool, cool. Hey, get them hundreds out. Get them hundreds out for your boy. <laughs> so right off the tip from the game, like I told you guys, I'm going to be aggressive. Eastley Jackets attacks the basket here and finishes through the traffic. Um, and then on the next play, Eastley Jackets gets the ball and heads right to the rim for the one-hand jam. And, you know, I got my fam in the stands. They're loving it. And a little bit later, this time I'm actually attacking with the left hand going baseline and cutting back in for the easy lane. So pretty much getting what I want inside. So here, you know, we're facing off against the Tornadoes, and they're moving the ball around. And we slack off on D with the shot clock winding down, end up giving up a three-pointer. But um, that wasn't going to settle too well with me because we also gave up the lead. So coming down here, um, you know, I'm going to do what I can, um, get the ball, fire up a three, you know, and that is going to be my answer to their three-pointer. And then a little bit later, coming down on the fast break, Easley Jackets gets it in transition and the acrobatic lay in there, fighting through the contact. Um, and this time, time winding down right before half, Easley Jackets splashes in a deep three-pointer and the Fairview Tornadoes are just like, damn, what are we gonna do about this guy? As you see, 14 slide points at halftime, shooting 75% from the floor. So I'm gonna come out in the second half and try to put this team away, you know, right away. So what do I do? I'm back at it, like I said, being aggressive, attacking the basket and getting what I want in the paint, this time pulling up for the short jumper. And then a little bit later, 
I pull this six spin move here as I get around the defender and actually dish it to my teammate. He's unable to finish here, but I feel happy knowing that at the next level, whether that's college or NBA, my teammate will be able to finish. So there's not too many more highlights from the second half as this game was clearly out of reach for you know the other team. Um, I just thought I'd throw this in there that Easley Jackets was able to get to the line and go two for two from the line. So you know once again for the second time, number two goes two for two. And I think I just like the way that sounds. So at the end of the game, your boy Easley Jackets finishes with 23 points and five rebounds. And, you know, he just continues to impress the college recruits and get his name out there and, you know, do big things. So in the next episode, we're going to finish talking up to the colleges. And also, you know, we will be advancing now to the state title game. So you will see that in episode three. This is your boy Easley Jackets, guys. Thanks for tuning in to my NBA 2K16 My Career. I am signing out. Peace out, mother trucker!